In this segment, we will be providing an overview of some of the displays that are available in the RTView Oracle Coherence Monitor. The OCM contains more than 40 different displays for monitoring and troubleshooting a coherence cluster. These displays are organized into categories that are shown in the tabs on the left side of the display. When the OCM first comes up, it brings up an overview page showing basic information about the cluster. Each of the tabs on the left contains a set of related displays, such as cluster views, service views, cache views, and node views. We'll look at each of these in turn. In the cluster category, the overview page is one of the most useful. It shows summary information about the important metrics that you're interested in, sometimes used to validate that your cluster has survived when changes have been made. So you can see here the total number of nodes, the number of storage and client nodes, number of caches, and the version number of the cluster jar, the coherence jar. The memory utilization is shown broken down by storage and client nodes. So here you can see we've got 5 gigabytes of storage and about 12 gigabytes of storage in the client nodes. Uh, of that, 33% is used on the storage, but only 6% is used in your client nodes. We also see here a table showing the currently active services running in the cluster, the total number of nodes that are supporting that service, and the number of caches on those services, and the number of objects. These bar charts here show the activity, the caches that have the most activity, and also the most objects in the caches. At the bottom, we have some summary information showing memory utilization, the node uptime, and some information about communication success. It's an important measure of the uh, network reliability in your cluster. Another useful page here is the summary of the caches and the nodes and the alerts. These heat maps at the top show the caches, all the caches in the system. In this case, the size of the box represents the amount of memory or the number of objects in the cache, and the color represents the activity. The darker green means it's getting more activity. The heat map on the right is showing you all of the nodes in the cluster organized by process and storage. And it's a quick look at the size of the heap. The size of the box represents how big the heap is. And the color, the darker blue, represents higher percent utilization of that memory. These tables show basically the same information, but in a tabular view. And down at the bottom, we see a summary of the alerts that are currently active in the cluster. We see here that this node departed at some point. The Memory Network Health page is extremely useful for understanding the effect of the network and on the memory in your environment. The trend charts at the top, the two, represent the receiver failure rate and the publisher failure rate. Basically, the average across the entire cluster of the number of packets that were sent but had to be resent, or the number that were received and had to be repeated because they failed to be received properly. This is uh, the average across the entire cluster. And as a cluster gets overloaded, you'll often see the percentage rise into the tens and 20% uh, across the cluster. The trace at the bottom shows the average memory utilization and the memory utilization of the worst node in the cluster, just giving you, at a glance, a view as to the effect your cluster is having on the uh, environment.